Hi everyone, this is Miss Cameron, and today we're going to be reading a story called Anna and Andrew, A Snowy Day. Chapter 1. Where's the snow? Anna and Andrew stood at the living room window and looked up at the sky. Anna's favorite doll, Sissy, sat at the window ledge and looked outside too. Are you sure it's going to snow? Anna asked. Mama walked over and stood next to Andrew. It's definitely cold enough. I do believe we will soon see this winter's first snow. I sure hope so, Andrew said. Winter was one of Anna and Andrew's favorite seasons. They loved to play in the snow. And afterward, Mama always made hot chocolate with marshmallows to warm them up. The news had forecast snow, but not one snowflake had fallen from the sky. Anna and Andrew kept waiting. Soon the sun was setting. After dinner, they peeked out the window one last time. It's still not snowing, Anna said, sadly. She hugged Sissy. Maybe it will snow tomorrow, Mama, kissed Anna on the cheek. Right now, it's time for bed. Anna and Andrew put on their favorite pajamas. Anna's pajamas were covered with pictures of books because she loved to read. Andrew's pajamas were covered with pictures of airplanes. After Anna and Andrew were dressed, they brushed their teeth. Then, Papa tucked them into bed and read them a story about a happy snowman which made Anna and Andrew laugh. Good night, Anna said to Andrew. Then she whispered to Sissy. Good night. Good night, Andrew replied. I am going to dream about snow. Me too, Anna said. Then they closed their eyes and went to sleep. Chapter 2. Snow Surprise The next morning, Mama came into their room. Good morning, she sang, as she always did. Good morning, Mama, Anna and Andrew said. I think you should look outside, Mama smiled. Anna and Andrew ran to their window and pulled back the curtains. Look, Anna shouted. Andrew did a wiggle dance. Snow! Large white snowflakes were falling from the sky. Their entire neighborhood was covered in snow, even Papa's car. Surprise, Mama laughed. After breakfast, Mama helped them get dressed. First, Anna and Andrew put on their pants and long sleeve shirts. Next, they put on their warmest socks. Then they put on their snowsuits and boots. Every winter, Grandma knit hats, scarves, and mittens for Anna and Andrew. She even made a tiny matching hat and scarf for Sissy. Anna smiled as Mama helped them put on the last of their winter gear. Are you ready? Papa asked. Yes, Anna and Andrew said excitedly. Mama opened the front door. Anna and Andrew ran outside to play in the snow. Chapter 3. Snow Cream Anna and Andrew's neighbors and friends were playing in the snow. Anna went next door to visit Chloe. Would you like to play in the snow with me and Sissy? Yes, Chloe and Anna took turns helping Sissy walk in the snow. Then Papa came outside and helped them build a snowman. Andrew walked to Robert's house. His other friends, Mike and John, were there too. Hi, Andrew, they said. Hi. Andrew watched Robert, Mike, and John play some bowls on the ground. What are you guys doing? We are catching fresh snow so we can make snow cream, Robert explained. What's snow cream? Andrew asked. It's like ice cream, John said. Only better because you can make it with snow. Wow, Andrew had never heard of snow cream. Would you like to help us make some? Mike asked. Yes, Andrew said excitedly. He put two bowls in the snow, one for him and one for Anna. Once the bowls were filled with snow, Robert's mother gave them milk and sugar to mix it with the snow. Time for snow cream, Robert shouted. Anna, come try your snow cream, Andrew called out to his sister. On the count of three, everyone takes a bite, John said as everyone dumped their spoons in the snow cream. One, two, three. It tastes delicious. Anna let Sissy taste a little. And Sissy thinks so too. Thank you. Everyone enjoyed their snow cream on the first snowy day of winter. Chapter four, hot chocolate and hugs. At noon, Anna and Andrew went inside for lunch. Mama made grilled cheese sandwiches and tomato soup. Anna and Andrew dipped their sandwiches in their soup because they thought it tasted best that way. Did you enjoy playing in the snow, Mama asked. Oh yes, Anna said. Chloe and I took Sissy for a walk. Then Papa helped us build a snowman. It looked just like the happy snowman in the story we read yesterday. And then we ate. Andrew looked at Anna and smiled. Snow cream, they shouted together. Oh my, Papa said. What a treat. I wish our cousins could taste snow cream, Anna said. I know they would love it. Anna and Andrew's cousins lived on the island of Trinidad. It was always hot there. 
so there were never any snowy days. Maybe you can make snow cream and freeze it, Mama suggested. Then they could taste it when they come visit us this summer. Yes, Anna clapped her hands. We can surprise them like they surprised us. Last time Anna and Andrew visited their family in Trinidad, their cousins surprised them with sugar cake from their end of school party. Anna and Andrew loved the sugary sweet treat, especially because it was made with bits of coconut. It was so fun to try Caribbean food because it was so different than the food they normally ate. That's a great idea, Papa said. Let's do it, Andrew said. But I have something special for you first. Mama handed them a cup of hot chocolate. There were a lot of marshmallows floating at the top. Andrew did a wiggle dance and everyone laughed. I just love snowy days, Anna said. We all do, Papa smiled. Group hug. Andrew opened his arms wide and hugged everyone in his family. Today was a perfect snowy day. The end.